guys, welcome back to my channel. What do you know, we are back in the tanning room again. If you guys haven't seen my most viral video here, it was a tanning first time thing, I don't know. But I am back and better than ever with another tanning video, except this one, we're gonna be doing the stand up bed instead. And I'm also going to be using a tanning bronzer lotion I don't know what it's called but I'm using the long overdue ultra advanced transfer resistant bronzer body deodorizing and oil free formula it's by devoted creations I've never used one of these before I've always just used like regular lotion and hopped on in but we're gonna give this one a shot there's so many different tanning lotions that you can use this is just like the first one I've ever tried so we're gonna hop on in I look crazy because I just got done working out so this is how you guys are gonna see me every time because I always go when I am done working out at Planet Fitness yeah I have not been tanning in a very long time the last time that I went tanning was actually when I posted that video which I think was probably about a year ago so here we are again we're back I've got into the point where I am just too pale and I'm starting to not love it so here we go tanning day one guys so I just got out first things first I love this tanning lotion it has no smell to it and it is not oily at all as soon as I put it on my skin sucked it right up and I just can't I can't feel it. I just feel moisturized but it's not oily or anything and of course I had my goggles on always always wear your eye protection I don't know how some people don't wear it because those lights burn my eyes I have to wear these and even if it didn't burn I still would wear them but anyway I did notice a little bit of a difference a little tan nothing crazy my face is a little bit red, but this was day one, and I went in for a total of five minutes. So today's Monday, so I will see you guys Wednesday, and I'll go in again. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Today is day two of panning. I just got done at the gym. Today was an arm day, but yes, we're going to hop in the tanning bed. Today, I'm going to be doing six minutes. Here we go. So I just got done. So if this is your first time tanning, I probably should have said this in the beginning, but go check out my very first video that I posted here. In that video, I talk a lot more about beginners to tanning just because that literally was my first time tanning ever in my life. But this is my first time using the stand-up, but it's not my first time tanning in the tanning bed. So go check that video out. But precaution, if it is your first time, don't go in the tanning bed starting at six minutes. Definitely start at something lower, like even two or three minutes. But because I have done this, that's why I went from five minutes to six minutes just because I know like what my skin can handle and what makes me burn and what doesn't. But that was definitely a little toasty in there and I definitely got a good tan. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna do six minutes again. I'm not gonna up it. And I don't wanna go for too long where I get a burn. I just want it to be something that I slowly ease into. But yeah, this was day two at six minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be day three of using the stand-up tanning bed for the first time as well as a tanning lotion. Today I'm going in for six minutes again just because I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good tan time. Today I'm going in for a total of seven minutes. I'm currently getting ready for work in the tanning room because I just got done running late. 
gotta go but i did want to mention something about the goggles that i think i said in my first tanning video if you wear these in the lay down tanning bed it's really easy to take these straps off because you can just lay down with them on your eyeballs so you don't get those lines but it's kind of hard because you're standing up in here so you kind of have to use this but when i put them on i'll start like oh my god i'll start here and then i'll literally move them up halfway down and then i'll pull them all the way down here halfway through it um now it's stuck on my earring you know, I'll keep moving it around because if you don't, you will get these like straight white lines right here, which is what I got the very first time I went tanning. So just a pro tip if you are going to use the strap. Hi guys. Today, this is going to be day six. So I've almost made it to my seven day mark, which will be tomorrow, which is a full one week trial of the stand up tanning bed as well as the tanning lotion. So today I'm going in for another seven minutes because that is a pretty good time and probably tomorrow I'll do eight minutes. So, so here is the before and afters. Welcome back. Today is going to be tanning day six. I actually got my times all mixed up, or not my times, my days all mixed up. So last time was actually day five, and today is day six. I actually took the last two days off and did not go tanning. That's because I didn't go to the gym because I don't know if you can hear it, but I've been sick. Don't worry, I got tested for COVID twice. Both times it was negative, so I think it's just an everyday cold, you know. Anyway, so I did take two days off. So today I am back and ready to go in for day six. And today I'm going in for eight minutes. So let's go. Hi guys, welcome back. So today was supposed to be day seven of finishing my full week of trying a stand-up tanning bed for the first time as well as the tanning lotion that I had tried. I actually got a full tan. I'm happy with my tan after six days of just using this tanning bed. So I didn't really wanna push it and go the seventh day when now I can just go like once or twice a week just to kind of maintain the tan. But I do wanna show you guys the before video of when I hadn't gone tanning in over a year and then the after of what six days in the tanning bed did for me. So you guys can see I got so much more tan. Again, just like a very glowy, healthy, beautiful looking tan. Same thing that the lay down bed did for me, but the stand up bed definitely worked a lot faster. And I think part of it was the tanning lotion that I did use. So I will say I definitely recommend using a tanning lotion like this one or something similar. It doesn't have to be this exact one. But I did notice that it helped my tan kind of come through a lot stronger and faster. My skin also felt like more hydrated. I think it helped my tan like stick a little bit longer. Whereas I felt like with the lay down bed when I wasn't using the lotion, my tan didn't last as long. It kind of like faded very quickly. Whereas this one has just kind of stuck with me. And if anything, it has just like gotten stronger. So overall, definitely use a tanning lotion i think overall it just helps and also helps keep your skin moisturized while you are in there i didn't have any problems with like lotion like being too much in one area or like i didn't rub it in one area enough and it was like darker than all the other areas if that makes sense it's a really bad way to explain it but basically if i didn't rub it in enough i didn't notice any like dark spots anywhere as long as you put on like a good layer of it all over your body like even I didn't wash my hands after, which they say to do, and I didn't get any dark spots or anything on my hands. So I definitely recommend using it. I mean, I had nothing bad to say about it. If anything, it just did good things for my skin. And then the stand-up bed. I love so much more than the lay-down bed. I felt like with the lay-down bed, there was like points where I felt like I had to flip over or I had to put my arms down and then I had to put them up or I had to like adjust my butt cheeks to make sure there wasn't any weird lines. And, and sometimes if I was laying flat on the bed and like kind of like sweat would build up around my calves or around my butt or even around like the upper half of my back I would notice like some darker like lines of kind of where the UV rays were a little bit stronger because there was like sweat it's like something for it to like reflect off of and I don't know if that makes any sense but I promise I had like these weird like spots 
And I like the stand up one because you just stand there with your arms up and you get such an even tan from head to toe. And also, I don't know if it's just like a Planet Fitness thing or if it's all tanning beds, but the stand up one works a lot faster. So the lay down bed, their maximum time was 12 minutes, whereas the stand up bed was, I believe nine minutes was the max, just because one, it is stronger. And two, it just, because it is stronger, it gives you that faster tan. So they don't want you in there for as long. So I like that part about it is that I get a faster tan so I don't feel like I'm constantly going in the tanning bed because honestly, I just wanted to go in a couple times to get a good tan and then only have to go in like a couple times a month just to maintain it because I don't love going in the tanning bed because I know it's not good for my skin. I mean, anyone can tell me that. Everybody that goes in the tanning bed knows that, but at this point, I feel like anything nowadays can give you cancer. Anything nowadays can kill you. So I don't wanna hear it, cause like in the last video I posted, I know I got some comments about, you should do this and you should never do that. And I'm like, thanks for the feedback, but I don't listen to it anyway. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. But I will say I like the stand up one because I only had to go in a couple times. And now that I've got my tan, which you guys can see the, before and after is just insane. This was only after six days. My maximum time that I went in for was eight minutes and that was just the very last day I went in for eight minutes. So I didn't even go in for the maximum time and it just gave me such a good tan. So I'm just gonna go back probably a couple times a month just to kind of maintain it through the winter time, probably through the springtime a little bit. And then, like I said, this summer I'll be in the sun so I won't be going anymore. But overall, I had a great experience. I love the stand up tanning bed way more than the lay down one and I also love you using my tanning lotion over any other regular lotion, tanning lotion, whatever. Specifically the one I used, I love. I wouldn't mind using one that had like a scent in it just because the smell of like your skin when you get out of the tanning bed isn't like the best thing. It kind of smells like plastic baby dolls. If you guys know what that smell is, that's what it smells like. But I wouldn't mind with the scent in it. But this one was odorless. It also was like colorless. So it didn't leave, which I think is part of the reason why it didn't leave any weird like streaks or anything on me. The tint of it like wouldn't come off on your clothes or anything, which a lot of times I'll like get out of the shower and use like a lotion that's meant to like darken your skin like without the sun rays or UV rays or whatever. And that sometimes would come off on like my clothes or towels or stuff, but this one doesn't have any color like that. So I liked that I didn't have to worry about still like being a little bit like lotiony after because it didn't have any color in it. So it wasn't going to get on my clothes or I wasn't gonna have any like weird crazy streaks anywhere. I also love that it was oil free. So literally the second you put this on, you hop in the tanning bed, it's like you never put anything on, but it's working as if you have like 10 layers of lotion on. So I love it. If you guys want to go check this out, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or anywhere. I just picked it up from Planet Fitness because it's one of the options that they had. But I'm sure any tanning lotion will work. But this is just the one I use and I loved it. And maybe I'm just going to probably end up using this one until I'm done with the tanning bed. And then come next year, next winter, when I decide to go in again. If I decide to go in again, I'll probably use a different one. And who knows, I might do a new like, tanning bed review with the new lotions and all that. Yeah, that is my weekly, almost weekly, but just about weekly trial of using a stand-up tanning bed with tanning lotion for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was informative i hope maybe you learned something or if you didn't i hope you enjoyed as always make sure you subscribe i do post new videos every single week and i'll see you in the next one bye guys